Hello everyone and welcome back to another PGA Tour 2K23 course play. Um, we're back with the Challenge Circuit Design Contest once again. This time we're going to Old Baron Burn by Micah94. Now this course, according to the uh, the forum post, has a very specific inspiration of a photo or a photo set of Old Sandwich Golf Club in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Uh, from, I think the Instagram account links gems. Um, and the the big inspiration is these red bushes. I think they're blueberry bushes, um, he said in the post. Uh, but as we zoom out and have a have a bit of a look at the plot, you can see there's there's some patches of them. Obviously, down the right of the first, and up by the green. Looks like there's a patch in here. Um, where else? Some down here, maybe. Um, but it oh, and up here by this tee, looks like there's quite a lot. But it really creates a, a cool environment, a cool look. Um, in terms of the rest of the plot. Some quite big waste bunker kind of areas, only a handful of them. Um, so we'll see how. I think that I think there's enough to kind of be cohesive and tie it all together, and they're not going to feel randomly placed. Looks like the routing of the course is quite left to right, kind of going across side to side here. And a couple of holes up here that are a bit more up and down, but maybe we're not going to face that much kind of variety in wind direction. Um, but we'll see works for some courses so i like the splashes of color especially obviously the red bush is kind of a, a feature point but the other autumn looking trees as well doing doing some good work for the for the visuals not the biggest fan of how the grass kind of creeps into the bunker here uh, i think it just looks a bit untidy and if we're going for that look i'd rather it just sit on the edge and maybe only slightly kind of creep into the bunker especially in contrast to the other kind of cleaner ones in terms of whole strategy, the closer we get to these bunkers on the right, better angle we get in, maybe, kind of avoiding this bunker. I feel like the bigger kind of benefit that we'd be seeing is if the pin's at the back and we can kind of avoid coming in over this tier. Obviously, if we're coming in from this side to a pin up here, we're risking kicking off of this and running away. Um, but then I probably wouldn't go for this bunker. Especially on the first hole, I feel like we're already punished enough with the angle um, that we're kind of just inviting the players to just hit the middle of the fairway, play play relatively safe and away from both sets of bunkers. Um, I feel like we should really be giving them a safe option out here that's a bit more of a difficult approach. Uh, but that could just be me. I like how the green's sitting in amongst all the red bushes again. Looks really nice. Really cool, unique look. Really embrace that kind of inspiration that he's taken. And a nice looking tee shot. So we get the round underway. A pretty good drive. Maybe slightly further left than I'd have liked, but pretty safely down the middle of the fairway. Coming into the wind, maybe just try and take a little bit off this 9-iron. But a pretty flat lie. And a nice looking shot again. Bit pulled. And we're going to face a tough putt. Medium speed greens. So, pretty well suited for CC, perhaps. Definitely giving us chances, but uh, as you see with where I've put that, that approach, certainly not a gimme. Just ran away a little bit, but should make par. Start with a four, not the best approach shot, definitely let me down a little bit. I feel like the planting on this hole, we're a little bit more open in, in kind of contrast to the first. Um, I, st I like that we, we continued the theme of the red bushes, but maybe I'd have brought some more planting in. Could possibly bump the tee up a little bit and have a bit more kind of less maintained areas around it and the fact that we've got separate tee boxes means that this area is just kind of not really doing anything uh, but as we look down the hole it's a shame that this grass doesn't render from back on the tee because from here that bank looks kind of featureless uh, but obviously a bit more detail 
as we get closer with planting coming into view. Um, we can challenge these bunkers for a shorter shot in, a bit of a pitch, or we can lay back to kind of avoid the trouble. I think even with the wind at our back, hopefully this is going to keep me from running into that bunker, but I'm just going to try and take a little bit off the driver. Really was a little bit off the driver, but pretty well judged. Probably overcooked it for a pitch shot because I'm not great at the partial pitches. Planting over the back of the green looks nice. I like this lone tree as well. And the hazy look is kind of doing work for the for the autumn kind of vibe that we've got. So it's looking cool. Again, the planting coming into this bunker a bit much for my liking. Get close. Yeah, it didn't feel like the best swing, but good enough. And a good birdie. So, see, with what I said on the previous tee, with these kind of joined together, this bit weirdly doesn't feel so empty. It's the tee box, it's kind of in use, makes sense for it to be maintained. Um, getting less of the red bushes, uh, but it feels like a fairly natural transition. Maybe we're wary of overdoing it as well. The further our drive goes, the more pinched we are. That that makes sense. We do slightly get a better angle in, maybe, from this side as well, challenging the bunker. Um, I'm not sure how much trouble there is around the green. We'll see how that plays when we get up there. Um, I feel like as long as we're on the fairway, we have pretty, pretty much a green light to go for it. Needs a decent bounce. Just about holds on. About as bad as we can be on the fairway. Even so, if I end up in this bunker, it's probably not the end of the world. Probably about the worst place to be is down the bottom here and having an awkward putt up the up the tier. Don't mind my chance of getting up and down out of the rough here. Um, and if we're laying up, probably laying up well short to make sure I'm on the fairway for my approach. And are my chances of making birdie from back here as good as they are from maybe in the bunker or around the green site? And I think on balance, I'm probably better off going for it. I don't feel like I'm hugely punished, but those words might come back to bite me. If that gets up the tier, yeah. So an eagle putt, but in reality, I'm kind of just looking to two putt this for birdie. So just get the pace right. A little bit tentative, but should tap this in. See, it felt like a fairly automatic choice to go for that in two, which is a risk of par, par fives. Um, obviously, going for it in two shouldn't necessarily be the default. That's kind of, should require two good shots, um, or probably two very good shots, really. Um, but I feel like I feel like I've hit two decent shots and then a, a decent lag putt to make my, my birdie. So it was deserved to a degree, but am I am I less likely to make a birdie with kind of if I don't execute that second shot quite so well? I feel like I've got pretty decent chances still getting up and down, but I could be wrong. I like this contrast, this kind of wild looking side over here and a bit more manicured. Kind of our pathway up to the fairway and then uh, a bit of approach and then the green just looks nice um nice splashes of colors again red bushes in the background so we are kind of getting maybe a little bit away from the red bush look that was featured in the first two but yeah, it's been a fairly natural transition just a hair long with the nine iron but sloped Doing me a little bit of a favour. And I have a, a sniff at birdie. Not the easiest part. Downhill. A little bit of break to it. Yeah, not the, not the best effort, but pretty safe par. 
maybe with a better shot, I have a decent, or definitely a better look at birdie, so yeah, pretty decent hole. Much more kind of rewarding the execution, I think, there than perhaps we were on the on the previous par five. Sort of a semi-blind shot as we crest the hill. Um, kind of in a valley, push up all to sort of the middle of the fairway, wherever we go. So we don't get much of a benefit of challenging these bunkers because we're likely to kind of just collect down here anyway. Um, and then as it comes to the green, we've got like an upturned bulb that's kind of repelling shots on all sides. So we do get maybe a slightly better angle coming in from here in that we get the length of the green to work with. We're not so kind of beholden to our execution. Um, but again, anywhere on the fairway is probably reasonably good. That's one of the better drives I've hit. Not been playing well today. So feels good to to get one out of the screws. Slightly between clubs. I feel like this is going to be a tough hole. Maybe making par is a reasonable score. If I'm missing the green left and collecting down here, that could be a tricky up and down. Green kind of repelling that way and then accelerating balls off the other side as well. So if I can kind of get it just past this slope and have a chance at two back for par, be happy with that. Ball slightly below my feet. Yeah, a little bit further left than I wanted, but good for distance and actually not that far left, was it? Reasonable chance of birdie on a pretty tough hole. I like this ruin in the background. Let's go and take a quick look at that. Like a ruined cabin kind of thing. Pretty cool, like Easter egg, just hidden. Planting around, it's nice. Very like, I can imagine this being a, a real thing. Kind of the best we can do with the assets that we've got there as well. Good use of the rocks. Um, and a nice little, yeah, little hidden extra. Oh, I thought that was a, thought that was a decent part, but just broke a little bit more, but got out of it with a par. Shame not to capitalise on a pretty good approach, but oh well. Yeah, another view of that ruin here. Uh, so we get maybe a chance to use this slope to to feed our ball round closer to the hole. Longish par three, so I feel like on the green is a pretty good result. Like this planting again, get the red bushes back in, and it creates a really cool environment. Splashes of colour again as well. Really nice. A bit long, but on the green's good. And another birdie chance. Hey, good part. Made up for the previous one. So a couple of centre line centre line bunkers. Pin's kind of at the bottom of a bowl, so I'm not sure how much the line in is going to make a difference. We're still coming in over this bunker regardless. The only thing is the kind of length of the shot. Obviously, if we challenge this bunker, we've got a, a shorter shot in. Lay up short of this one and maybe a longer shot, a bit more difficult to stick it. Uh, but So maybe we take on here and try and, get, try and go aggressive and hit this bit of fairway. I think I'm right in saying this is the first green as well that hasn't really had any fairway around it. We just go straight from the fringe to the light rough. And that means that if our ball just trickles off the fringe, we're going to be caught up on the edge of the green. And we're going to have a much easier time. Like we could potentially putt out of this or chip out of it rather than like maybe rolling down here and into the bunker or at least. A little bit further away, making life a bit harder, and maybe taking the putt out as an option. But let's see how it plays. Nice sight line as well, all the way through to some bushes in the background there. Oh, really got hold of it and flew the bunker. Wasn't expecting that. 
I like that little extra detail for the kind of boardwalk through the bunker. And a chance to pitch. And yeah, we've got a, got a real good chance now. Maybe, maybe rewarded for an aggressive drive. We have a really good chance to get this close. Because even if we go long, it's going to kind of scooch back and hopefully get in close. Or we could hit it fast and a little bit lucky. That wasn't the best swing, but yeah, maybe rewarded for for a good drive and aggressive line off the tee. Stayed high that time. Putting's not been too hot for me, but made the par at least. Another par five. Um, Fairway's going to kick up all kind of round the corner. So, do we get much benefit from taking on this bunker? Probably not, because potentially we're kicking into it from here anyway. So, we kind of just want to hit this bit of the fairway and let our ball feed round. This bunker's maybe a little far back as well to kind of impact the going for the green in two. This bit is a threatening slope, though. We can very easily have a ball kick down here and have a difficult chip, difficult pitch. Um, so that maybe impacts our choice of whether to go for it or not. Or we could hit a terrible drive and be too far back to go for it. Yeah, and well out of range. The, the further back we lay up, the worse angle we get as well. Um, because we're we're then running down this slope a little bit. We're going to find it harder to hold the green. So I kind of just have to hit this up near the green and hope that I can hit a chip. So maybe that's what this bunk is here for, but I can't imagine you're kind of budgeting for people hitting a drive as poorly as I just did. So, yeah, kind of... Happy to be up near the green. Hopefully chip this close. Should make a birdie, but as you've seen, my putting's not been not been all that hot. Hey. So even with a pretty poor drive, I feel like that hole didn't ask too many questions. It's a fairly automatic way of playing it, and if I'd have been in range, I'd have gone for it, kind of no questions asked. There wasn't that much trouble around the green, and there wasn't that much of an appealing layup. Um, which is it's definitely hard to get that balance right of risk-reward, uh, but for the for the fairly limited risk we'd have been taking, I feel like the reward was quite, quite great. Or a little bit of a push. I hit the fairway and bounced into the rough, but nicely kind of pinched at driver, kind of asking the question if we take it on. And I've not quite executed, so yeah, in the rough. Ninth green coming back to the clubhouse as well. Clubhouse looks fairly basic, but pretty nice. Not, not over the top, not too flashy, but I could definitely see it kind of working in this environment. So that's pretty cool. Not sure. I need to take a bit off this, don't I? I'm not sure how much, though. So. Pretty on the green is, is okay. I'll be happy with that from the rough. Well, that's far better than expected. And made a part for a change. Okay, so another centre hazard to start the back nine. I feel like, yeah, this certainly, especially with the tailwind, we can just kind of take this on. And if we hit it up here, we kind of get the best of both worlds. We've got all of this space and we get just about as good an angle as we would for taking on this tiny little gap. It's not much different. Um, the pin's far enough back that this bunker's not really going to affect us. It's kind of just an, a, a slope across the ways. Um, maybe even actually we possibly are taking this bit kind of out of the equation as well. So we almost get a better angle in from this side. 
I feel like if this bunker was angled that way, then we'd be kind of asking, if we're taking it on, on the left, um, we can get like, we've got a narrow side here, which widens the more we want to take on. And then similarly, we have a, a if we're angled this way, we have a large side here that narrows as we get further up. Um, but we're probably, if we're laying back here, we're kind of playing short of the bunker. Whereas it's very much a, if it's going this way, we're taking it on. But with how it's angled now, I'm just kind of going to take it on, try and fly over it. Might be nice as well as we're around the clubhouse if we had more of the red bushes again. Um, looks a little bit, does it? Yeah, some more planting comes into, into view as it renders. So not really the designer's fault or a limitation of the game. little bit pushy so slightly further right than i wanted but kind of took the bunker out of the equation uh and have a pretty good angle in for a pitch hopefully just kind of doesn't release too far that didn't feel like a great swing i kind of got away with it a little bit shorter than i expected and from that range should be doing better than 30 foot but at least we're putting. And a fairly stress-free par. So I think the elements that this course is taking on come into play in the back nine. Um, other than throughout, we have no out, no outbounds and no water. Which does cer certainly limit how much we can, uh, we can punish misses. Um, but this is an interesting long par four that we're kind of letting the um, the length of the hole be the defense. Because from the tee, it kind of looks like this bunker is protecting the green, but it's actually, we've got like 30 or 40 yards of space. Um, into the wind, I don't really have a club for this shot. I'm going to have to take a little bit of a hybrid, I think. Um, but we can maybe use this slope to, to help out if we're a little bit offline and it will feed it around to the pin. If we're a long way offline, we're going to be struggling putting down this tier, and that's going to be a really awkward one. So let's see what we can do. Too much. Or just about got away with it. Unlikely to make a birdie from here now, but we do have a chance at least. And yeah, on a long par three, happy to make, especially when I'm between clubs, happy to make a... Again, a fairly stress-free par. Another par five. With the wind. So I feel like we've had the wind at our back on a couple of par fives. Um, which obviously makes them easier, makes them more in range. And we've got an interesting green. We've got punch bowl, which I feel like isn't the best suited for par fives. Especially, this is probably in range with two good shots. Um... I feel like that means that basically if we hit the fairway, we're green light to go for it. And we do kind of want to challenge these bunkers a little bit because we're going to kick down to the left side of the fairway regardless. So a little bit of risk involved there. But with the wind at our back, got a hold of one. And now, yeah, we've got slightly uphill. And again, we're kind of between clubs, actually, which is a bit annoying. Um, but what's our punishment for missing the green here? I mean, firstly, we've got a pretty good chance of bouncing towards the green anyway, um, getting a good bounce off of all these helpful slopes. We kind of have no reason not to go for it. Going to try and hit a little bit of a partial. Not taking enough off it, but it does get to illustrate the point that I've missed the green. And hopefully I can execute this. I mean, it is going to run away from me coming down the hill. But if I can just play this delicately enough. Okay. A little bit more punishing than I... Perhaps gave it credit for, for missing the green. Um, it's 
So yeah, for a, for a less than perfect shot, that was probably about as bad a miss as I could have could have made actually. Um, and struggled, got down in three for a par. Um, so yeah, maybe a bit more punishing than I gave it credit for. Um, but then we have a similar kind of question on on thirteen, a drive of a par four. Why do we not go for it? Um, in the bunker, probably isn't the worst miss. Anywhere around the green, probably isn't a terrible miss. And what are our chances of making birdie from laying up here? And I would say they're probably about the same, but we take eagle out of the equation. Whereas if we can hit the green, especially with that slope, maybe filtering balls around a little bit onto the onto the right tier, we have a chance of eagle. I've hit that too far, possibly. Another, yeah, an example of we've just caught in the light rough and the ball wasn't moving very fast, so it probably wouldn't have trickled away if it was fairway. But we could potentially be putting this if we really wanted. And in the real world, probably would. We just want to get it down that hill and hopefully that'll trickle out close. Overhit it a little. And miss the putt. So I feel like I haven't played either of those two holes very well to illustrate my point of perhaps they're quite automatic to go for it. So that maybe means that I'm I'm wrong about how to play them. So that'd be interesting. Interesting to see and interesting to see what your kind of intentions were with the holes as well. And if I've if I've just played them wrong. This is a really nice green site, banked into the red bushes again. Um, I like the waste bunker. The grass getting into it a little bit much for my liking in places. Um, again, same sort of thing. I think it looks a bit better when the, the grass is kind of just back from it. And maybe the sculpting of it here is a little awkward compared to kind of where it's where it's flatter on the back edge. Maybe that just needs a little bit more care and attention, but this is your short par three. The previous hole was obviously the drive from par four that he's taken on. Uh, so as a 113 yard hole, I feel like I should be putting this close to make a bird. It's not the easiest green. Slopes front to back. So yeah, that's done well to hold its spot. If we're a little bit long, that might run away from us and leave us a tricky putt, but did well. Found the green, missed the putt anyway. So, yeah, that's that's interesting because those are three holes I feel like I should have scored on, and I've gone through that stretch even part. So I'm not sure if that's me being rubbish or or what. If the if I've been kind of suck it into going for shots that maybe I shouldn't have done. Good choice, which side of the fairway to go for? Slightly longer route going left, wider fairway. Coming in over the bunker, but I'm not sure it makes all that much of a difference. Tighter fairway on the right side. I think the key aspect of this hole is going to be coming in from the fairway because we're going to have a long approach, 513 yard par four. I'd like to see more of this back lip of the bunker as well. If this was raised up, you can just about see the the sand from the tee, but if we if it was raised up, we'd be able to see more of it. Yeah, not the not a perfect swing. Maybe it was slightly blocked out as well, actually, by that tree. Um, but better than being in the rough. Slight side hill lie, only ever so slight. Coming back at the clubhouse. Found the green at least, which we've got a bit of a punch bowl thing going again. So that's the second kind of, I know it's only the sort of the back half. Makes more sense on this hole though, as a, as a long par four, especially if the pin's right at the back, that's a really long par four. Makes sense to give us every chance to kind of hit it reasonably close, have a chance at birdie. Um, 
chance of birdie here anyway. And a reddit. Easy par though, easy par par, tap it in. Another long par three. Another punch bowl as well, kind of thing. So, a bit strange that we've gone for two in a row. Um, could be pulling the same trick twice, getting a little bit repetitive. I suppose we do have a slightly different pin position where the punch bowl is actually affecting us a bit more here. But, Fast swing. Just about did us some favours. Wasn't a great shot. But it has held the green. And another outside look at birdie. Yeah. Happy with another stress free par, although I don't think I've made a birdie on the back nine. We're on to 17. Another par five. Another one into the wind. So, I mean, we have had a. I feel like we've had a diff. Uh, 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 Two in, two and two, two with the win. So at least a little bit of variety there. Uh, but possibly just be aware of kind of trying to vary up your hole directions as much as possible. Kind of a hog's back, but I feel like if we hit the right side of the fairway, we're collecting in the heavy rough here. And you can see that that's not far off pretty much the middle of the fairway. And if that kicked down to here, I'd feel like that's quite harsh on the goal flight. Similarly, maybe pitching there would keep us safe. But if we're on the top of the, the ridge, we get a view of the flag. From the left side, it's maybe hidden behind that mound. From the right side, it's hidden by the hog's back. Let's see what it's like when we get up there. Oh, we're going to see where does our ball collect. Yeah. Pitched fairly middle of the fairway, ran into the heavy rough that I wouldn't be too ecstatic about. Um, kind of feeling like I've hit a really good drive and then finding out that I'm actually, I've got no shot at the green in my second. Um, if I was on the fairway, this would be an absolute no-brainer. We'd have to go for it. I feel like this kind of punishes a shot that's already being punished because now we're having to lay back short of these bunkers whereas if they were up near the green imagine if, if we were coming in off the fairway and the bunkers were cut right up to the edge of the green we'd have to make a choice if we're going for it or not. um but as they are if this was a fairway lie why wouldn't i go for it i'm probably taking these bunkers out of commission worst i'm having is maybe collecting down here or in the rough over the back of the green so we're kind of double punishing this miss look wasn't even all that bad a shot in the first place. Um, chance at least to hit a good recovery, chance to make up for it. Not the best approach. Don't feel like it deserved to run all the way down there though. It was probably about here, wasn't it? And it just got away from us. A um, little bit harsh. I feel like the sculpting on this hole has maybe... It's sort of punished shots that didn't really deserve punishment. Like, it wasn't going to be a great approach if it finished up here. We're still going to have a tough putt for birdie. But it's taken me 13 yards off the... Or away from the pin. That was a poor chip. That was my fault. miss the par putt so outside of the chip and obviously missing the putt I don't feel like I played that hole that badly and I've made a bogey which feels like a little bit of a kick in the teeth and then 18 I like the bushes here kind of tying us all together um, bringing it kind of full circle so we're finishing next to the first tee so it makes sense uh, take on the bunker on the left for a better angle in by the looks of things. Quite a small green. Yeah, we're avoiding that bunker and that bunker maybe. I get that obviously if we're kind of coming down the stretch, we might want to pinch drive. So that makes sense. Makes more sense on 18 than it did on one. 
for my money. That might need to get a little lucky. Just about does. And between clubs to finish off. Let's try and take a little bit off this wedge. Nice view of the clubhouse coming in. And a decent approach and hopefully get back to level par for the back nine. He drained it. So an interesting round. Definitely felt scorable and I feel like I've left quite a few out there. But I also feel like, particularly that 17th, I was kind of punished for not really making too much of a mistake. I could be wrong. I could have just played it wrong. Um, really interesting course, though. Good fun. Um, yeah, definitely missed out by not birdieing here. Missed out on at least two shots by bogeying here. Um, drivable par four was this one, I think, that I didn't make. And... Uh, Short par three, so I could have easily gone five or six shots better. So it's it's good that there were shots out there that I that I didn't that I've that I've left out there. It wasn't automatic and an easy course. Um maybe just look at kind of how we're punishing shots that are is a a ninety five percent perfect shot getting a, a a just punishment, or is it getting punished as bad as a seventy five percent shot? But anyway. Best of luck in the competition. Thank you very much for the course. Thank you for um, suggesting I play it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If there's anything else you want to see from me, um, let me know in the comments below. Um, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Thanks so much, guys.